Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Um, today we're going to draw a Ferguson tractor. Who doesn't like a, an old Fergie? So before we start, uh, the usual things to remember, try to draw lightly, don't press too hard. Uh, try to move your whole arm rather than doing small furry lines, try to move your whole arm, sweep it from the elbow or something. And um, sometimes ghosting shapes in the air before you bring the pen down can be helpful for things like the wheels. Um, that's it. So let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a front wheel. There we go. Pretty good. So there's one wheel. The back wheel is going to be one wheel further back. So we'll put a faint line in one wheel across for where the edge of the back wheel is going to be. We're also going to put a faint line in for the ground. Just straighten you up a bit. And the centre of the back wheel is just a bit lower than the top of the front wheel. So we'll put a faint line across from there. So our centre of the back wheel is going to be somewhere along this line with an edge here, if that makes sense. So the centre will be here, an edge there, an edge there, an edge there, an edge there. Uh, it's very loose, but I think we'll get away with that. It's slightly wiggly. Um, now we can get on with the uh, bonnet area. So the front edge is halfway between the middle of the wheel and the edge. And I've put a slight curve on it just to make it a bit more interesting. The top edge is level with the top of the wheel. So another faint line across there, horizontal. And then we bring a line down here. So we've left a small kind of squarish area around here. And now we can divide the top of that off. And under there we have the classic cutout shape that we see on tractors. And if you don't quite get it right, don't you can go over it, you can try and improve it once, but don't keep going over it, because the more you go over it, the more attention you'll draw to that area. And uh, if you never quite get it right, you, you, you'll just draw attention to a bit that's wrong. So better just to, if you, like the, the wheel I drew wasn't perfect, but I didn't keep going over. So I think we'll get away with it by the time we've drawn everything else, if that makes sense. So back to our engine area, we can cut off this back area and add a slight curve to the front. Um, then there's a, a steering column, which has a slight slope this way. And there's a support. And you can draw the steering wheel on top. Um, the underside here is a bit more interesting than just a straight line. It's got some a slope there and a drop down bit. Um, and now we can start to see some interesting stuff here which is the steering mechanism. Some levers and uh, I think it's probably a clutch pedal or something. And then under here we've got various gubbins um, which you know you don't have to draw every little thing. There's some boxes and some pipey bits. But mainly, it's going to be in shadow. So we'll just loosely put some shadow there and darken that underside slightly, just to show it's an overhang. And we can do the same under here. We just need our wheel arch, which just follows the arc of the wheel just above it. And now because it's looking like a cutout, we need the wheels on the far side. I'm going to make that wheel that I drew slightly wrong to egg-shaped. I'm going to make that into my far side wheel and add a new edge down there for the front wheel. Fix that thing that I didn't do quite right. There we are. We can shade that in so it looks like on the far side. And add the ground. And now the wheels themselves Had a suggestion of where the tyres would be. Uh, the front wheels have got cutouts in a square shape, so these little elliptical cutouts, if you arrange them in a square, that kind of looks like the cutouts in the wheel. You can have some, some, uh, some wheel nuts. The back one, tyre, the back one, the cutouts are arranged in a sort of hexagon, 
So you need six dots arranged evenly spaced. And then between each one of those, you can, again, you can do one of those flat ellipses. And you hopefully you should end up with a sort of a hexagon shape, which again, you can dot a few wheel nuts around. And then the last thing we need is some tread. And uh, we're just doing these sort of slightly sloping shapes. I don't know what they're called. They're not really rectangles. They're not what they're, slugs, slug shapes, something like a slug shape. And that hopefully, oh, gear stick, should be everything you need to make something that looks a bit like the tractor. My steering wheel was a bit wonky. I'm going to fix that. Few nuts, some of the little details, maybe a few scratches, some wear and tear. It always makes it more interesting to look at. I'll darken the underside of that wheel arch. Yeah, that's probably enough to make it look like a tractor. Hope you enjoyed that. Join me for another one soon. And uh, wait a minute. Um, I forgot the exhaust pipe. That goes in halfway along the top. Something like that. That's it. All done. You can go home now. See you next week. <laughs>